drive on by. Come on, just drive on by. <sighs> Let me just sip my coffee. Now he's got a backup right in front of my window, across the street, <laughs> my neighbors. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving, loving this look. Okay, the truck is going, quick, quick, let's get to this hall. <laughs> oh, now the coffee. Whew. I just felt like I ran a marathon, what in the heck? Hi, Sugar Cookies, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, I'm Cookie, your lifestyle. And you're watching a lifestyle channel. It was time to refresh, reset things in my kitchen. I've been in this house a little over two years and some of the things that I needed in the kitchen, um, it, it, it was time to go. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna try to remember to list all of these items in the description area below. So all you need to do is go to the show area or the show more area below the video, press on that and it'll drop down the menu and you're gonna see all these items. I'm gonna to try to remember as much as possible, okay? But if I don't, then you can always come back and watch the video. <laughs> these are coasters, but they're not only coasters, they can also be used to top your coffee and keep it warm or your tea. Now, I can't put it on this mug of coffee here because this is a big honker, excuse me. Oh, that's still a little hot. <laughs> But two of them come in here and this costs $1.99. I'm gonna try to remember the prices. If not, then you can look it up online or you can just go shopping. What an excuse to go shopping, right? I got this um, ice cream scoop. One of the things that I do like about IKEA products is that somewhere on the product itself, embossed, engraved, or what have you, it'll let you know if it is dishwasher safe or um, if it's not microwave safe. So I really appreciate that. I got this ice cream scoop. This was less than $2. And of course this is great for ice cream, but I also like it because when this time of year, I like to go out on impromptu picnics and I like having things like this that just in case it breaks or it get lost, I'm not going to <laughs> be out, you know, 20 bucks on an ice cream scoop or anything like that. This is also great to do biscuits, scoop out biscuits, meatballs, and things like that. But this is really good and it's nice and sturdy. It's ergonomically correct for both hands. It's a nice deep scoop. I hope you can see that there. And I like to use this for picnics or you know going to the beach and you buy ice cream, you take it in your cooler and stuff like that. I like to pack ice cream in my picnic basket sometimes in the summer and things like that. So I really like that and it's in my favorite color uh, or tone of color, which is turquoise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so pretty. Okay, less than $2 for that. I'm gonna try to go as quick as possible. This is a handle-less spatula. This was $3.99. Now I know, I know, maybe you might be thinking $3.99 for that, but it is very solid. It's sturdy and it's nice and wide. Like when you're using your stand mixer and you use a spatula, the spatulas are skinnier, but this has a little more, it covers a little more surface. And I really like that it's also great for scooping. So I was glad to get that. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm going to try to say this name right, my Swedish brothers and sisters, please, please don't come for me. Don't judge me if I botch up the names, okay? This is Lat Bakad, Lat Bakad. Yeah, uh-huh. This also shows that it's um, dishwasher safe, even though I don't know if I would put these in the dishwasher. I just, I would, I would hate to ruin them. Two of these came together. Now, this, this shows that it is a ice cream scoop, but what I like about this is that this is not just good for ice cream scoops. This is great for biscuits, for meatballs, for, um, let's say you wanna do, um, meatloaves and things like that you know the little cup meatloaves there's a lot of things that you can use this for and you get a nice even amount 
for each uh, dollop that you place on your baking tray. And then you have two of them. Two come in a packet right there. I think this was, I want to say, this was also maybe, I want to say $6.99. It's very sturdy. It's nice and heavy. I like the grip on this. And I love the colors. Do you see? Do we see? Look at that. Go get you some. And tell them that Cookie sent you. Ikea. Ikea. Yeah. I'm available. I got this little, uh, uh, how do you call it, baster. And I like the idea that it's nice and small. I have a penchant for miniature things. I like the idea that this one is nice and short because, and it's synthetic, so with the other bristles, I have those wood ones that uh, look like chip um, brushes. And sometimes I find that the bristles on those brushes, they wind up getting on the food and, uh, no, I, no, I don't, <laughs> I don't want that happening. So when I saw this one, it's a short basting brush. Not only that, but it also allows me not to burn myself. Mm -hmm. I don't know why with the longer handles. I don't know if it's because I want to take the handle and reach all the way to the back. No, that's just... But anyway, this one is called... What is this called? Oh, wait a minute, sugar cookies. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... This says... Oh, this really sucks. It says that this product contains formaldehyde. For more information about the chemicals in this product, visit www.ikea.us. Why, Ikea? Why would you put formaldehyde on this? What is the purpose? What is the reason? I don't understand. This was $3.99. Now I don't want to use it. Would you use this? <laughs> I don't know. Should I? <sighs> you think that'll wash out? I don't know, now I'm kind of scared to use it. Bleh. And I got this pizza cutter. This was $1.99, not bad. This pizza cutter does not have a name on it. And it shows that it is, let's see, does it show that it's uh, dishwasher safe? Do, 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 do. Doesn't show that, but I wouldn't put this in the dishwasher. I would wash this by hand very carefully. I was so happy to see this microplane. This was $1.99. And what is the name of this? This does not have a, oh yes it does. It has a name on it. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on. Let me give you the name, let me give you the name. <laughs> it is spelled, hold on, it is spelled U-P-P-F-Y-L-L-D. How the heck do you pronounce that? It almost reminds me of the Welsh alphabet and how you gotta pronounce stuff. I remember when we went to, uh, I think it was Balakinwood, in Wales, oh my goodness, I had one heck of a time pronouncing the stuff that I sure did. But anyway, this is pronounced oomph, up, fli, fla, flu, lid. Yeah, this right here. And it has a nice jacket on it that slides, it has a cover. I like that it's short. I like that it's compact and easy to store away. And I like that it matches all these other as if that really mattered, right? It matters to me. All these other accoutrements. I also got two of these scissors. Now let me tell you, I don't know about you, but I need to keep several kitchen shears or utility scissors in my kitchen drawer because I'm gonna take one and keep it to open up packages as they come in and then the other one, I'll keep it in the kitchen, you know, to cut parchment paper, twine, all the things. This was only $1.99 for two. $1.99 for two. You can't beat that with a stick. Then I got this, ay, ay, ay. Fonsterficus, Fonsterficus. These are tags. I got a couple of these because when I do a couple of my um, food preservation and, and dehydrating products and um, uh, sauces and things and seasonings that I like to gift. It's always nice. See, this is what the tag or one of the tags looks like. I gl I'm glad that it has an elastic on it. Makes it easy for me. I don't have to tie anything. I could just plop it on there and bada bing, bada boom. And you can identify what's in the jar. This is great also for when you're doing food preservation and you're bulking up your pantry, you know, what you have inside the jars. Don't do what I've done before and think, oh, I'm gonna remember what's in there. No, always label what you put away and what you store. I also got these scissors. Now these are great for food. These have teeth right here. This is great. 
and it helps to open up certain bottle lids and things like that. And these were only $1.99. Do these have a name on them? No. But it does show that they are washable and uh, you can put these in the dishwasher. However, I would not, again, I would not put these in the dishwasher. I got this Mopsic, oh, I got that name right. I got this Mopsic um, cutlery set. This has four spoons, four knives, four um, soup spoons, four teaspoons, and four forks. This whole set for $4.99. This is just for everyday use, nothing fancy, but it's very practical. And that's what they look like. I got several packs of these. Why? Because I entertain. My best friend has four boys, so <laughs> when they come over, you know, you know how boys are. So I like to have a lot of uh, cutlery and nothing too fancy, you know, that they could withstand rough handling and things like, like that, especially when I make them Saturday breakfast. So I got several of these, again, four of each for $4.99. These are called Pep, Pep, Peprig, three sponges, and these are nylon sponges. And I like these to wash my special pots and pans that I don't want to you know, scratch up or anything like that, or even on some of the nicer dishes, some that might have a design on them or any embossing, you can use these type of um, sponges to protect the surfaces and things like that because they're not abrasive, but they do get the job done. This was $1.99, I grabbed several of these. This spoon was also $1.99, this wood spoon, fabulous. I couldn't find more. I mean, the day that I went there, I don't know if it was, you know, a home sale or what have you, but it was so packed in there and people were in the home section, just like I was, <laughs> getting a bunch of stuff. So this was the only spoon that I was able to uh, get. And I like to replace these every couple of years because, you know, wood spoons, they get, um, they get crusty and nasty. And I like that this is not a coated spoon. Sugar cookies, make sure that when you buy your wooden spoons, make sure that they are not coated because that coating has chemicals that goes into your food. So you want bamboo spoons and you want them to be not coated. These were 99 cents. You know I grabbed me a whole heck of a lot of them because I entertain. Also, when I go to church and we go to gatherings and we have lunch on the court and things like that, if this spoon doesn't make it back to the house, no big loss because this was only 99 cents and it's pretty, pretty sturdy. These are even stronger than the ones that they have at Walmart and at the Dollar Tree, 99 cents. I got me several of these. These are marked for, let's see, can you dishwash? Yeah, it says these are dishwashable. I like that they're nice and deep so that you can scoop and you can even serve soup with these. It's almost like a little ladle. I know, I know that these are for the cheerings, <laughs> for little kids, but they were on sale. These were marked down, I think, to, I wanna say 99 cents, I think, or less. So I grabbed me several of these, again, so that I could throw in my picnic baskets and things like that also. We like to eat ice cream here, and these are great for that. These are also great. I think these were like 79 cents a pack, or 29 cents, I kid you not, I think it was 29 cents a pack. I don't know if they're phasing them out or not, but they look like this, and they're pretty sturdy. Of course, these are great for little hands, but this is also great for ice cream, or you can have your friends over and have a little ice cream spread. Lots of things that you can do with this, especially for that price. And let me see what else, oh. I got this cutting board right here. There's a very small one right there. There's this medium one. This uh, this particular set, this one is called Legatim. 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 The small one is great to take with you on picnics so that you can cut up things, lemons, citrus, whatever, oranges, whatever, and you have this on hand. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. And this is, um, let me see, let me see, what is this made out of? It doesn't say the material that it's made out of, but you can see the little logo there that says it's dishwasher safe. I would put this at the top rack of your dishwasher. This was less than $2. I got that one. And I also got several of the larger one, like this. These I will specifically use for fruits and vegetables. 
You should always have separate cutting boards for your meat, your fruits, your vegetables, and things like that. I got these little voters. I think these were on sale for like 29 cents as well. So I got several of these. Now, these are glass voters, but what I like to do with these, I'm gonna show you, I like to place salt, seasoning, pepper in it, and put it at each place setting. This way, if the person who's eating wants a little more seasoning or wants a little something extra or even butter, you have these next to your dish. I've priced butter dishes that are this little and even seasoning dishes and salt dishes and things like that, and they go anywhere upwards. The, and I'm talking glass now of $6 for something like this. I don't think so. So these from Ikea will do me just fine. Think outside the box. Everything doesn't have to be specifically what it's made for. Be smart, make sure that um, it's food safe, and this is glass, so it'll be okay. I'm just gonna show you really quick. I'm going to take the spice jar, and I'm going to add some spices in there. Very easy idea. It's cute, it's practical, it serves a good purpose. Picture several of these around your place setting, around your dishes. You can also make compound butters and put them in there. Uh, dipping sauces for less than, what, 29 cents I think it was? I grabbed several of these. I am not going to pay $6 and upwards for little salt dishes when I can get something like this. Mm -hmm. It's parties. Look, look, look. Isn't that cute? I like that. You're welcome. I got these candles, eight of them. These are clock, 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 clock head candles. These say that they have a life. These say that they can be lit for five and a half hours. Eight of these come in a packet. I think I paid $3.99 for these. I love the color of them. Now, I have a little tip for you. This I learned many, many, many years ago. If you want to make your tapers as dripless as possible or minimize the drippage on the candle, soak the tapers in cool salt water for about, I wanna say, maybe about half hour, then put them in the freezer. After you've left them in the freezer or even overnight, even better, that will reduce the amount of dripping and it'll extend the candle life. Mm -hmm. I learned that a long time ago. So I'm passing it on to you. I'm giving you boils, people, boils. <laughs> so now I'm getting ready to just fill the sink with some water and some regular salt and let these tapers soak for about a good hour. This is cool water. And I'm just gonna add some salt as uh, the water hits it this way, it has a good chance to dissolve. That's about enough. Agitate it well, help it along. I learned this trick, oh my goodness, I think it was watching one of those HDTV home shows. And this was a tip that was given. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but these have a burn time of five and a half hours. I don't know if you can see that right there. Don't throw this box away because once you take them out of the sink and you drain them, then you could put them back in this box. Make sure that the water is cool so that these don't start melting or get warped. Just like that, easy peasy. See? Easy, 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 and great idea. I think this will increase the burn time, I wanna say, or the slow down the burn time, I would say maybe about another hour and a half, two hours, and it will certainly start making it, and it will keep it from getting very drippy. I'm not saying it's not going to drip, I mean, this is wax after all, but it's not going to uh, be as sloppy and messy. I don't know about you, but I am so over having tons and tons and tons of cushions. What I do like to do now, I like to use the envelope, meaning this. One of the places that I like to get my pillow covers or pillow envelopes is at Ikea, especially when they are on sale. This one is a great fabric. It is 
a beautiful design. It has a nice touch. It looks expensive. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This one is called the Maj Mott Design Emma Hagman. This is a 20 by 20. This was $2.99. I got me a couple of them. I also got this one. This is the Ebba, Ebba Tilda. Oh yay, thank you for the easy one. <laughs> this is also a 20 by 20 and it has a waffle pattern design to it and it's made of cotton. I hope you can appreciate that on camera. I will show you what that looks like. And then this is what the design looks like on this one. I like that. These colors are the colors that I have going throughout my house now. And then there's this fur shirt, fur, 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 down feather insert. It looks like that. That's the name right there. That's the name. That. That right there. Fred of Fred Fred Jeffrey Fred Jar. <laughs> this was $7.99. I also got this microwave cover for 99 cents and it has little holes on top to let the steam go through. I tell you, one of my pet peeves is to look in my microwave and see splatters everywhere. And that's just something that's gonna happen. But this will minimize that and uh, I wish that it had like a little handle on it, but that's okay, what do you want for 99 cents? <laughs> Ikea, I have a little bone to pick with you. They have these wonderful containers. This container was, I think, $3.99, which is fabulous. I'm trying to transition to glass containers as much as possible. However, why do I have to pay extra for the lid, Ikea? Why are you nickel and diamond me on lids, Ikea? So the lid was $1.99, but <laughs> I had to have the lid, right? So I got me a couple of these, and I like that they're nice and deep, and they're also stackable. So there's that. This little, um, I don't know, dispenser. This was a little pricey. I mean, this was $3.99, but I liked it. And I can also um, do my special vinaigrettes and put it at the table and not have to, you know, lug around a large bottle or anything like that. This was $3.99. And it does have that flip lid on it. And like I said, I thought this was a little pricey for $3.99, but I needed it. I looked at it, I wanted it, and I got it. <laughs> I like this measuring cup. It looks like a beacon jar. And this has 16 fluid ounces, two cups. It also has pints on it and up to 500 milliliters if that's the way you wanna measure. This was $1.99 and it is a sturdy glass that is always useful and I like the fact that you can mix in here, do your vinaigrettes, do your sauces, do whatever, mix it in there and it has a nice pour spout on there. I hope you can see that. It's a little dirty, dirty, not dirty, but grimy because I've got my fingerprints all over it. Then for 79 cents each, oh my gosh, you got to go to Ikea and try to find these because these are very comparable to Korean plates. Do you remember Korean plates? Do they even still make those? Okay, if you like to do a lot of entertaining the way I do, having stuff like this on hand is important. Look at these plates. These are great for appetizers. These were 79 cents, 79 cents. Go get you some quick. This was also 79 cents. It's not flimsy, dishwasher safe, but wait, wait. I think this one was 99 cents. Or set, no, they were all 79 cents, regardless of the size of the uh, the dish. How, how, don't ask me why, but I like this to serve, I like this for pho, I like this for stews, great staple to have in your kitchen, great idea. These trays were 99 cents. Do we see? This tray is called Till Gang. Til Gang. <laughs> I like the fact that these are nice trays. You can take these out to your patio. Um, you can take these and put them on your lap while you're having, ooh. You can also use these to put them on your lap and sip on your soup or whatever if you're watching television and you don't wanna sit at your table. So many uses for something like this. I have two more things and then we are done. Woo, child, hold on a minute. Have me a little sip of woods. I'm a little porched at it. 
This is a wet shoe tray. Now, I got me several of these. I got one to put outside in the front of our house, you know, because it rains here a lot in Florida, to keep the shoes that are wet out front. But this is also a great idea if you like to have crab boils or um, let's say now that Father's Day is coming up and you want to do something a little special, maybe you want to do a nice crab boil or just do a couple of, boil a couple of crabs or shrimps or seafood. Let me give you an idea. This is not food safe per se. However, what you can do with this is line the bottom with um, uh, cling wrap or aluminum foil. You get the idea, line the bottom and then place a lot of ice on top of that. And then on top of that, place your shrimp, place your crab legs, place some lemon wedges. It's gonna look really nice and it's a great idea and it keeps things contained nice and clean. I think these were like $2.99. Yep, they come in black and they come in this mustard color. And this is pretty big. This is called bag muck, bag muck. <laughs> bag muck. Let me show you, let me show you. Do you see? It says bag muck right there. Oh look, I got some packages. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the pan looks like and you can Take your shoes off if they're wet and put them right there nice and clean let me get these packages <laughs> oh i've got to clean that up please this bag is called gore oh gosh g-o-r-s-n-y-g-g gorsnig 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 okay these are storage bags. These were $2.49 a piece, and they come with this nice strap like that. And what I put in here, you can put tons of things in here and place them underneath your bed for storage. These are the same grade material as the IKEA bag, so they're not flimsy. I bought a couple of these similar to these at the Dollar Tree, and as soon as I zipped it up, <laughs> the zipper came loose from the uh, from the seam. I was like, really? So that was not a deal. But these are very nice. They're quite sturdy, they're quite large. As you can see, let me bring it closer so you can see. And it has a nice handle on there. And we can use it as a plate. So why are we going? There? <laughs> so I have some down feather pillows in here and they store nicely in the closet. They stack nicely because they're square, they're not too long, or you could place them underneath your bed. Now let me show you what those pillows look like. Hold on a minute. Don't go nowhere. Go get yourself a cup of coffee or something. I'm gonna have a sip of mine. Oh, it could be 300 degrees outside, but I will not give up coffee or soup. Mm -hmm. How about you? All right, so I'm gonna change this pillow out and I'm gonna exchange it for this one right here. This is a 20 by 20. It's very pretty. It certainly goes with the color that I have going on throughout the house. And I love that. That's why I love having inserts. This insert here is from Ikea as well. It's the same as the one that I showed in the haul. Ugh, my show. See? And you could form it. <laughs> it's very comfortable. I like that a lot. Now, an easy way and a tip to get these in is fold them in like that. Find your opening and stuff it in there. Fluff it up, slap it up a little bit, get all of your frustrations on there. <laughs> okay, and then we place it on there just like so. Love that. Let me know, what do you think? I like this color combination. Spruces everything up. 
I'm happy with that. Not bad for $2.99 for a beautiful 20 by 20 pillow cover that's cotton and has a beautiful print. It lends an organic kind of look and feel to everything here. I can also do this. Ooh, sugar cookies, let me know. Which combination do you like? You like this configuration or do you like this configuration better? Maybe I'll steam this as well, but for the sake of the video, that's how it's gonna look. <laughs> Let me know. I almost forgot the hangers. This pack of hangers right here, I think it was I want to say less than $1.50 or 99 cents. No, they were 99 cents. Let's see how many come in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are thin. They're not the velvet ones, but that's okay because that was my sandal. McFart farting it. I like the fact that they have these little hooks on here. So hopefully they'll hold up. Not bad. I got me a couple of these to place in my guest room as well. And I've also seen people wrap these up and make beautiful hangers with yarns and uh, different types of things and fabrics and ribbons and things. And yeah, not bad. So there's that. And then I got this. Oh, wow. This small dustpan set. I like to use this, especially uh, in the area of where my dog has her food bowl. I hate having to take the big one out or the big vacuum or even, you know, a handheld, um, what is it, those handheld mini vacuums that snatch up crumbs. You know the ones that I'm talking about, but this one is small enough and this was, I think, $1.99. I like that it snaps in that you saw. It took me a minute to get it out of there. They use stuff like this in smaller scale. I've even seen this size in Asia and I love that idea. They use it on the table to gather all the crumbs off the table. Maybe I'll go back to Ikea and get me another one of these to save that one for the table. Put that one in my hutch. And this one I'm gonna keep by my dog's um, food area. Let me show you. Okay, so my idea is this. is placing this right here. <laughs> placing this right here so that as she eats whatever, I can scoop everything up. It's nice and neat. It's discreet, out of the way, and I could either put it here on a hook or somewhere or keep it underneath the sink, but I don't know. Do you think it looks tacky hanging there? <laughs> I don't know, but this is what I want it for, for this area right here, because my dog is very, very, very messy. I've washed these, I've washed the spoon, and I've washed the cutlery set, and I'm just gonna put it away just to give you an idea and just so that you can see that this stuff really does get used. And this is where I'm planning on putting it, right here in that little corner right there. So anytime one of the kids come over, they can come in here or I can come in here, just pull out a bowl. Or if I just want some ice cream, I'm telling you, this is the perfect serving size. I love this. For ice cream, fabulous. Now, these are dishwasher safe, but they're not microwave safe, so keep that in mind. Now, I need to organize this drawer a little bit better, <laughs> so don't judge me. I'm just showing you. I'm just gonna set that right in here. And this is just easy peasy for the day. These teaspoons are gonna come in handy, love those. And I'm just gonna throw the knives right over here. Done deal. Bada beam, bada boom. Next. <laughs> so I decided to hang the mini dustpan in the same area. It's efficient, it's out of the way. Nobody's gonna really notice it. Come on camera, focus and let me be great. I will end you. And let's see how that works out for a little bit. But again, a great little gadget from Ikea that's going to be efficient and budget friendly. I think it was like $2.99. Mm -hmm. So what do you think of my haul? Do you think you're gonna go to your nearest Ikea, peruse through all the aisles and get some of these things? I think that they're worth it. Um, 
Keep in mind that this item right here, as I mentioned previously, this does have formaldehyde. So I don't know if by washing it, you'll get rid of it. I don't know. I'm a little leery about this. Comment below. Let me know. Would you keep it? Would you wash it? Would you even return it? Because uh, I don't know. I don't like the idea of this having formaldehyde in it. I am appreciative that they um, disclose that information, but uh, Ikea, what's up with that? Why you gotta put formaldehyde on this? Bleh. If you like this kind of content, you found some value in it, a chuckle, a laugh or two, smash that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join my lifestyle sauce. Psst. Turn your notification bell and select all. This way YouTube lets you know about my videos. Donate me a thumbs up. This way it tells the algorithm that you're enjoying my videos, that you like them, and it puts me up there to the masses, to the masses, to the masses. To the masses, to the masses. To the masses. If you have any other ideas on how you would use some of the items that you saw here, comment down below and let me know because uh, you glean from me and I glean from you. Bigger Cookies, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see on this lifestyle channel. This way I'm not wasting your time, I'm not wasting my time, and I'm bringing things that you would like to see on this lifestyle channel. As I say around here, be blessed, not too stressed, and I'll see you in the next lifestyle moment. Bleh. Garbage truck, not now, not now. I'm recording. <laughs> Never fails. I can't script that in. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> tell you I get no respect no respect how dare you do you not know that I'm filming here do you not know how important I am and how popular I am on the YouTube streets I'll just wait I'll just I'll, I'll wait I'll wait you do what you gotta do mr. trash people mr. trash people <laughs> y'all do what y'all gotta do environmental services thank you very much bye Adios, move it, go, bye. If I keep waiting, <laughs> I'll be here for about a good 10 minutes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hello? Agent 777 here, mission accomplished.